the big thing we want people to remember is to heed the rules of the road, especially as you enter the school zone. So make sure to drive the speed limit, slow down, and please do not drive recklessly. And we understand that a lot of us are trying to multitask. You can't do that when you're driving. Trooper Josh Lewis with the Colorado State Patrol says paying attention in school zones is key to keeping our kids safe. There's going to be a lot of uh, pedestrian and foot traffic around, and most of that pedestrian and foot traffic is usually a little bit smaller. Maybe they don't make the best decisions, so it behooves us as drivers to be slower, be patient, be looking around at all times. Now, AAA says 53% of Coloradans drive through a school zone on their daily commute, and 30% of them admit to using their phone while driving. Everybody's bringing your kids to school, so just be mindful of each other. Be respectful of each other. Don't, like I said, cut each other off. Andrea Garcia is the crossing guard coordinator for Denver Public Schools. It's a very part time job, but it's a very rewarding job. Garcia says the job can also be challenging. I've had crossing guards actually get hit by cars with children in tow because again, people are not heeding the rules of the road. Rules of the road includes paying close attention when you see a school bus. That stop sign is not optional. Those red lights exist for a reason. AAA also says 20% of Coloradans admit to driving around a bus while its red lights are flashing. Stop, maintain that distance. Never ever speed past one or go past one when it's uh, especially when it's unloading or picking up kids. And Trooper Josh Lewis also says, parents, this is the time to make a plan with your kids. So make sure they know how to safely cross the street. If they are going to be walking to and from school, make a plan with them. Make sure they know the best and safest way to get to and from.